lucky young man to get that photo. <laughs> Well, it's certainly fantastic preparation for the challenges later this week and also for the Australian Open, which is not very far away, of course. And I think she'll be really delighted with that performance. She served beautifully, backed up the first serve with the second serve in excellent fashion. Chat with all things tennis. Well, why not? Well, they're lovely moments. You never know, do you? In a few years' time, one of those young men might find themselves out here on the centre court in Adelaide. So through to the last eight, let's hear from her. Well, Victoria, congratulations through to another quarter-final. You made the quarters last year here as well. How did you assess your performance here today? Uh, yeah, I felt like it was a, a good match. Um, I didn't really know my opponent. I watched her play a little bit, but you know, when you face somebody, you don't know. It's, it takes a second to kind of uh, figure out. She's a great, uh, great talent. Um, I, uh, I feel like she's going to be a really, really good player. Uh, but uh, I felt that I stick, uh, stuck to my game plan pretty well today. It was consistent. Uh, I was taking my chances w uh, when, I, when I could. I kept creating more and more chances. Uh, I was a lot more aggressive, a bit more comfortable today on the court. We've watched you play in Australia for a long time and have loved your success here. Five of your 21 titles have come in Australia. What is it about coming back here and perhaps playing on these surfaces that you enjoy so much? Well, I love the fans here, the energy of the people. You know, you guys have just this attitude of, yeah, like, think, yeah. Um, you know, just so much into sports, laid back, nice people, very welcome. Um, I love my first time when I came here as a junior. And uh, ever since, I felt like every time I'm coming back to Australia, I'm coming to my second home. So I felt, felt I always feel very comfortable. And uh, it helps when I also play some good tennis. I'm excited to play in another quarterfinal here. Um, uh, very happy that the tournament here is in Adelaide. Uh, two weeks in a row for you know for for people to come and watch us play. So we really appreciate you guys coming and supporting us. That means a lot. Well said. And we could see it. You're so popular with the young fans, you were just having some great yeah. interaction there, which was lovely. Um, you take on Linda Noskova in the next round. She was very impressive today. Another opponent you probably haven't seen that much mm -hmm. of. She just turned 18. Mm -hmm. How do you prepare for someone like that when you don't know perhaps as much as you do with some of the other players? Um, yeah, I will have to talk to my team a little bit. Hopefully my coach will do his homework and watch some <laughs> matches. But there's so many young, uh, you know, very talented girls that are so powerful and have so much talent. So for me, it's about to, uh, I guess, use a little bit of my experience. I uh, still try to develop a little bit more my game, improve, um, and really get as many matches as I can. She had a little bit more matches under the belt. Uh, and, uh, you know, playing and beating some really uh, uh, great players. So I'm just going to go out there, try to uh, to focus on myself more than, than my opponent and uh, hopefully show some, some more good times for you guys. You've been at a brilliant level so far. Congratulations. Well done. Good luck in to another quarterfinal. Thank you so much. Thank Victoria Azarenka.